guys it's me angela i was just waiting for my phone to charge i've been having a problem with my phone all day i tell you i don't know it's not one thing it's the other anyway i got another one of these uh type of canvas i like these and i'm gonna do a, a flip cup pour I'll try not to put too much paint because I know this is a very small canvas. However, I am so used to using so much paint that I forget. And uh, here we go. So good evening, guys. I never use orange or green. I mean, very rarely. So I said, let me use orange and, and um, green evergreen and tangerine so here we go different colors for sure I like these colors. They're very different. Don't you think, guys? Mm. Oh my god, I love this, this color. I'm losing all my cells. Look at this. They're all going off. Look at the side. How pretty is that? Today, the paint, and I noticed that one of my paints was not good. The white paint. It was a little too thick, and that's why the one from yesterday got a little messed up. It had clumps everywhere, and that's because I didn't pay attention to what I was doing because I was, of course, trying to do things fast. No good when you go fast. You only ruin your painting when you go fast, so. This is a very unusual color for me. Wow. But I'm liking it. I'm really liking this color. It's a very pretty color. White and color. Design, because it looks so good. I don't want to mess it up. Mm. One that I did yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. Was good enough paint it wasn't too little and it wasn't too too much it was perfect amount of paint i would say it's coming off here on this side this happens when you put maybe too much paint here that's what happens I use too much silicone, which I just put on every other co color. Mm. The time, put silicone on every other color. But silicone really makes cells no matter what. It just makes a lot of cells. So that's what I'm doing. And all the sides done.
have to do anything. It just keeps dripping down the paint. It's dripping down the side. Which is good. I don't have to do it. But I can't stop looking at the sides. They look so pretty. <laughs> I'm looking at the side more than the top. Uh, the whole thing looks gorgeous. Let's put it that way. I am going to give it a blow. Fluff it up a little bit. Well, burn it up a little bit is what I should say. How about you? I will write the combination of these colors for you guys in the bottom. So let me give you a close up. Wait, before I give you a close up, let me uh, show you the one from yesterday. It's already all dry. You won't believe it. All this is dried already. It's dry, completely, completely dry. I put those white lines because I guess I'm trying to make it a geo, but uh, I messed it up more than anything. So I may come back later and put another one over this one. I mean, I like it anyway, but who knows? Knowing me, I change everything all the time. Not everything, but a lot of things. <laughs> I shouldn't say everything. Oh, I'm to wash this. All right, let me give you a, a close-up. And I'll take Make it slow. Here we go. Look how beautiful it's that. Isn't that gorgeous? I put very little black and I put the color tan and tan I made it out of brown burnt umber and white together titanium white that's how I made the tan color and then I put tangerine orange and I put evergreen you know green color on it and that was it. it was only four colors so you know what they say less is best I just love this this is so gorgeous and look at this corner how beautiful is that so I, it comes down the side it's just coming down I'm letting it just keep coming down this is looking beautiful look at this side So I'm just gonna let it sit here, let it all drip over. And uh, I may see you in a little while. I may do one more. Okay? Love you guys and peace throughout the world. Bye bye. <laughs>